On Election Day 2012, Tuesday, November 6, Northampton voters will be given a separate ballot asking if we should ratify a new city charter, a new constitution, if you will, and that was previously approved by the Northampton City Council. We need a streamlined, flexible charter that's more accessible to the public. The current 129-year-old charter is filled with archaic language that many find difficult to interpret, and there's a patchwork sometimes of contradictory amendments that make the overall document kind of hard to follow. We want to strengthen the democratic process and improve how our local government functions. The new charter will increase the autonomy of the separate branches of government and facilitate broader public participation. To strengthen our democratic institutions, the new charter includes the following changes. It will shift the chairmanship of the city council meetings from uh, the mayor to the city council president. It will extend the term of the mayor to four years. It creates a special election process to fill permanent mayoral vacancies. It will simplify the school committee elections so all terms run concurrently and last for two years. It will improve transparency by having the council approved budgets break out the cost for both the compensation and benefits of elected officials. It will create an advisory commission to make recommendations on appropriate levels of compensation and benefits for elected officials. And in the spirit of keeping what works, here are some of the key aspects of the current charter that will remain the same. It will continue to maintain the mayor as the chair of the school committee. It will maintain the city clerk as an elected position. It will maintain current provisions for citizen initiatives and referendums. It will keep out arbitrary term limits for all positions elected and appointed. And it will also retain the process for mayoral appointments subject to approval by the council. So please remember, this is a special election. Please consider the charter.